God is good, children. Yes, he is good all the time. My name is Teacher Sarah, and I am with Teacher Rachel. Hello, children. Welcome to today's lesson. Uh, we are going to start with a word of prayer from Teacher Rachel. Welcome, Teacher Rachel. Okay, children, wherever you are, let's pray. Our Father and our God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you this morning. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you so much because of the care that you have taken over each one of us together with our families. We thank you, dear God, because you have been our protector. This, this day, dear Lord, we come before you just to hear your word and we pray that you be with us so that we may hear and understand exactly what you want to tell us today. For we pray this, trusting and believing in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. amen. We are really happy with Charita to, uh, to be here today and we, uh, we want to start uh, with a song. We want all of you to stand up and we, we do uh, a praise with this song that says up the mountain and down the valley. Yes. Up the mountain, down the valley, and on the land, and in the sea. Up the mountain, down the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. The Lord is my shepherd in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. The Lord is my shepherd in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. Jesus' power, super, super power, super. Satan's power, powerless power. Jesus' power, super, super power, Satan, Satan's power, powerless power. Hallelujah, the Lord is my shepherd in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. My shepherd in the land of the living, the Lord is good forevermore. Thank you. And now we are going to uh, to introduce uh, to us Teacher Lecho to take us through the program. And our topic today is perseverance. But welcome Teacher Lecho so that you may elaborate more on the topic on how the Holy Spirit will help you. So children, this morning, wherever you are, we are going to team up together so that we look at perseverance as we accept others' help. Now, when I found that our lesson is perseverance, I decided to find out more about this word, the action of it to persevere. What is it? And I checked in my dictionary and I found that to persevere is to continue in a course of action even in the face of difficulty. That is, you continue with what you're doing, though it is, seems to be very difficult. And also the similar words that I got that you can use instead of the word perseverance, I got the word to persist, to continue or carry on, though there are some difficulties involved. Today we are going to learn about a servant of God whom you know so much about. That is Moses. Most of us know the story of Moses and we are going to look at Moses at a time that he persevered. And I'll ask Teacher Sarah to read for us Exodus chapter 17. Exodus chapter 17 verse 8 to 16. Okay. Our reading comes from the book of Exodus, Exodus 13, from verse 8 to verse 16, and it says, The Amorites, uh, uh, the Amorites came and attacked the Israelites at Libdan. Moses said to Joshua, Choose some of our men and go out to fight the Amorites. Tomorrow I will start on the top of the hill with the staff of the Lord in my hands. So Joshua fought the Amorites 
at, for as Moses had ordered at Moses, Aaron, and Hul went to the top of the hill. As long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning. But whenever he lowered his hands, the Amalekites were winning. When Moses had grew tired, they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. Aaron and Hul held his heart up, one on one side, one on the other, so that his hands remained steadily till sunset. So Joshua overcame the Amorite army with the sword. Then the Lord said to Moses, write this on a scroll as somewhere to be remembered, and make sure that Joshua hear, hears it, because I will completely brought out the memory of Amorite from under heaven. Moses built up an altar and called it the, uh, it the Lord is my banner. He said, for, the, for hands were lifted up to the throne of the Lord, the Lord will be at, at, will be at war against the Amorites from generation to generation. That's the word of the Lord. Thank you very much, Sister Sarah, for that good reading. And from that story, the one that you have read, Remember, our topic today is perseverance, accepting the help of others. And in that story, we find the servant of God, Moses, who was given the work of taking the children of Israel from Egypt to the promised land that is Canaan. And on the way, they won, God had so many people on the way who were to fight with them. So at this time, we find that they were to fight with the Amalekites. And the Amalekites, they were very big people, tall and huge. And so when they found that this time they were to fight with the Amalekites, Moses told Joshua, who was the commander of the Israelite army, get prepared and you prepare your army so well so that you fight the strongest army that we have found on the way. And Moses and Aaron and Hul, they were to stand on top of a hill as the battle goes on down there. So you can imagine those two battles down there and Moses up. He was seeing so well down there what is happening. And so Moses was to go up on a hill so that he could lift up his hands and also the staff that God had given him so that every time when the, his hands are up and the staff, the Israelites won the battle. But any time his, hand, where his hands went down, the Israelites were defeated and so many of them were killed. So Moses could get tired and at this time, I think to show perseverance, I'll ask Teacher Sarah, Teacher Sarah, stand on your right leg and put up your hands, we see what will happen to you. Mm -hmm. Yes, Teacher Sarah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Are you getting tired, Teacher Sarah? Yes. Uh -huh. Let me help you. How do you feel now, Teacher Sarah? Yeah, that is better. It's better now you can stand. Yeah. Okay, so that was what was happening to Joshua. He was getting to Moses. His hands were getting tired. So every time he got tired, the Israelites were being killed. So he had to remain with his hands up and he had to persevere that, putting up his hands all the time. So. At a time that he got very tired, the, those who are with him, Aaron and Hul, told him, let us help you. And Moses accepted. We say our lesson today is perseverance, accepting the help of others. So we see Moses also accepting the help of Aaron and Hul. Boys and girls, do you allow others to help you? when you get tired of doing something, or you just like doing it alone. So Moses accepted the help of Aaron and Paul, and what they did is they looked for a big stone, brought it to Moses, and Moses sat on that stone. 
So when you sit down and you have been standing, you feel relaxed a bit. So Moses felt relaxed. Remember, his hands had to remain up. Because when his hands are up, the Israelites were winning the battle. So Aaron came to one side, pulled on the other side, and they helped Moses to put up his hands. And that way, the Israelites continued fighting and killing those Amalekites in many numbers. They were killing one after the other one using swords. And they killed so many of them. Now, tell me, Teacher Sarah, what do you think happened in that battle? The army of the Israelites won. Wow. Because Uri and Aaron helped Moses. Very good, Teacher Sarah. When we accept the help of others, we are bound to be able to persevere more and we do well in whatever we are doing. And therefore, we see that the Israelites won the battle and even God promised them they'll never see the Amalekites again and they never saw them again. So we find that we have to learn to persevere in difficult situations. Now, Teacher Sarah, tell me, which situation do you think you are called to persevere in your life? Uh, at this difficult moment, the business is closed. There is no business and there is no money. Yes. Sometimes you have to persevere, missing some things that you used to have, when the work was going on. We, we are persevering at this difficult situation, but we, have, we are hoping that everything will come and we'll, go, uh, we'll come to be uh, back to the normal and to, uh, the friends will help us and we will be able to do it. Thank you very much, Sister Sarah. You are telling us to keep on persevering in these difficult moments. And children at home, I know you are also being called at this time to persevere, staying at home and not going to school. I know most of us are too tired of staying at home, but we have been called to persevere until that time we'll go back to school. We have also to persevere missing our friends because we would like to be with the school friends, but here we are, the situation we are in now when COVID-19 is around, we cannot go and meet our friends. So we have to persevere to be away from our friends. And we have also to persevere sometimes. For those who are in high classes, doing a subject which you're not understanding so well, but you have to persevere until we go back to school when things are hard and you can ask the teacher to help you. So as we persevere at home, boys and girls, what do you think we should do? I'm sure there are things that we should do as we persevere at home. Teacher Sarah, as you persevere, what are you doing? I'm having faith in Christ and in God that you will help me. I'm having faith. Uh -huh. mm. Thank you very much, Teacher Sarah. You're having faith in God that things will change one day and you'll be able to go back. So children at home, I would also ask you, as you persevere, Keep on reading the Word of God so that you know what God has told us to do and you also keep on praying because with prayer all things are possible and God will change the situation for us. And as we persevere, we also get the help of our parents and our guardians and those other older people who are with us at home. And in our lesson today, we have learned that we have to learn to persevere and ask the help of others. Let's pray. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you for the lesson that you have taught us to persevere and to ask for the help of others and also to rely on you, dear God. Help us as we do different things at home that, dear God, we are going to read the word, your word and also, Heavenly Father, to keep on in praying so that you may be our guide as we go through difficulties. For we pray this, trusting and believing in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. 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 Teacher, let you thank you very much for that wonderful word. 
uh, and I know our heart has been encouraged. Yes. If we were giving up, we know that now we can pa uh, persist the way uh, Moses persisted. And yes. as we persist and as we pray, we will win the way the army of the Israelites won. Yes. We are winners if we continue in prayers. Because Moses continued praying, the army won. Now, children, I want us to sing this song says that says let us build the temple of the Lord mm -hmm. because teacher has said we cannot be able to live alone mm -hmm. we need the help of others yes. and now I want us to sing as we ask the help of building the temple mm -hmm. of the Lord yes. Building up the temple, building up the temple, building up the temple of the Lord together. Let you come and help us, Sarah come and help us, children come and help us. Building up the temple of the Lord, Wajenga Hekari, Wajenga Hekari. Wajenga hekaru ya bwana pamoja Lecho saidia Sara saidia Watoto saidia Wajenga hekaru ya bwana Oh, wajenga hekaru Wajenga hekaru Wajenga hekaru ya bwana pamoja Lecho saidia Sara saidia Watoto saidia Wajenga hekaru ya bwana now, oh, children, we had a wonderful class. I know that you have also enjoyed and you continue reading. Even the verse we have read, you are going to read it again and again. And the Lord is going to give you power. The way he gave Moses the power to persevere. He's also going to give you friends who are going to start by you. From here with Teacher Rachel, we are about to say goodbye. But we want to say the final prayer before we leave. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, our Lord, the help of Moses came from you. The help of all we need will come from you. If we call, if we ask, and if we insist on praying and calling upon your name. Father, we give thanks to you. As we surrender the whole of next week and our life before you, we know that God, you are going to bless us. Jesus, thank you because you say, let the children come to me. We bring all the children to you for your, their protection and for their care. Bless our parents, bless our father and our mother, and also bless our nation. And this we pray, believing and trusting in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen, amen and amen. amen. From amen. here, children, from Chasara, I say bye bye. And from Teacher Rachel, bye until next time. Amen.